What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be talking about the 245 odd run defense. Now, I personally don't think it's that good of a run defense. It's very vulnerable to certain plays we'll, talk, we'll be talking about in this video. I've got my own personal run defenses that I really, really love using, and those are going to be in the description. If you guys want the run defense for this, don't get it from these YouTubers. Get it from the source. Bam. His Twitter is going to be in the description as well. I believe he's selling it for 20 bucks. It's $20. So it's not that much, people. So we're going to be using the single back wing flex close. This is the Oakland Raiders offense. Not talking about the defense. We are going to be using the Seattle Seahawks for the defense. Again, secure tacklers on two of their players, Jadavion Clowney and Bobby Wagner. That's why I like using them on run defense so single back wing flex close i'm also gonna go ahead and lab a little bit with you guys in this video now the one that i have found have success now it, it kind of depends on how well your offensive line is going to block if you're using the tie ends i had one game i was able to run on that two four five odd just dive 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 for almost 200 yards um you really do need a good running offensive line for this to work Sam Fram, not bad. Titans, not bad. So we're going to go ahead and utilize this HB dive. And then I'm going to get the defense already set up to go again. Bam scheming. Check out his Twitter. He's selling it. So check that out. All right. So the run defense is ready to go. One thing I want to just get this out there right now is I'm using a safety and I've got two controllers. I can't do both of them. But the best way that you're going to be able to find to run against this is you can motion this tight end over. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy onto a spy so at least he plays around a little bit better than what a CPU would do. And you're going to motion this guy over and provide him as a lead block. You got to rely on two things right here. One, do not touch the right trigger until you get into the open field. And two, following the gaps, I guess the third, and praying that there's no instant block shed. So we're going to go ahead and motion this guy over and you can motion him mid motion and you can snap the ball right about there and you can see right there off the races with a simple cut to the outside. Now, of course, a user might be there to make a tackle and that's where this motion block is going to come into play. If you notice that they're going to shoot that gap, whoops, I just break my other controller almost. If you notice that they're going to shoot that gap, that's when you're going to go ahead and start cutting it to the outside. So let's go ahead and and say he does shoot that gap again what i would do right here id this guy as the mic motion this guy over and just start spamming that a button right there we can get a good gain of about three yards at that point i would want to cut to the outside but the problem is how i was talking about earlier is with block sheds now it was i think i wanted to say it was this linebacker and this defensive tackle that are just both shedding to the inside if you see that good luck that's just kind of ea sports it's in the game just kind of screwing you over if i'm being completely honest but most times you're going to find you're going to be able to cut it to the outside you might be thinking oh, well maestro why not run stretch stretch is a zone run right it's automatically getting you to the outside problem is with this particular run defense if they do have a good user you're going to find that they're going to be able to contain you on the outside fairly easily so just a couple things you do have to be aware of so again it's just about reading your blocks perhaps you don't need to motion this guy over maybe what you need to do is just flip the run left and just see how the block set up dive is really not that complicated now right there obviously a user would be there to be able to contain the gap but let's go ahead and do that one more time i'm gonna go ahead and slap that safety on a spy so he'll play the run if you guys don't know that already this is a world worldwide known tip if you put your safeties into spies they play the run i don't know why but that's that's just how it is so again we're gonna go ahead and set this run defense up one more time scheming's link in the description go check it out so i've got my safety in a spy i'm gonna hop off the safety right here let the safety do his thing Let's just go ahead and run this dive. Again, this is single back wing flex close. Really nothing special whatsoever. We're just running a dive. And we're going to go ahead and see how well this plays. Right there. Whoa, oh, that's exactly. I'm so happy. That's what I was talking about. We get shedded. And that's kind of where this defense can get frustrating. Sheds. 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 This is not a good, a, a bad run. This is a bad run defense. If all you are relying on are just simple sheds. I want to go into instant replay and talk about bouncing it to the outside or just cutting it right up the middle. So as we zoom out, <clears throat> we pause the game right here. You notice if this guy does not get insta shedded, look at all this space we have to the left. Tons. And we've even got a lead block 
by our wide receiver. So if I had better stick and if we didn't get insta shedded by this defensive tackle, guess what? This user is going to have to respect this gap right here in between. I want to say that's the tackle and the guard. He's going to have to respect that gap because we can shoot that gap clean or we can bounce it to the outside. You can see, just look at all this green grass. As they say, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Well, this grass is emerald green, and you're gonna be able to bounce it to the outside. Now, on this side, on the other hand, we don't have numbers, and you can see right there, the corners are gonna be coming in clean. Again, same thing happens right here. Look, we have a hole, we have a hole. Problem is, that's George, K I think that, I don't know who that is, to be honest, Let's. I don't know who that is. Some tight end, I probably George Kittle just can't hold his block. If they hold their blocks, we've got two gaps we can shoot. We've got the A gap on the, or sorry, the B gap on the right side, and I want to say the B gap on the left side. The user is forced to guard not one, not two, but three different lanes. The edge, the B gap on the left, and the B gap on the right. Again, provided that the tight ends can hold their block. But notice... They get the same exact animation at the same exact time. Defensive tackle gets a shed and defensive end gets a shed also. So really, really good way to be able to just destroy this one run defense. Now, right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the HB stretch. Please remember that this is not a user. A user is going to be able to contain this. So obviously, these results are going to be a lot different. So again, single back wing flex close. This time we're going to go into HP stretch and we're going to run it how a lot of people like to run it. So we're going to get this blitz, this blitz, what? This defense, I, I, I'm getting mixed up between blitzes and run defense. We're going to get this run defense all set up. Check out scheming, 20 bucks. If you guys can't afford it, please support him instead of these YouTubers. Go do so. So anyways, we're going to get this run defense all set up and we'll be back for offense. All right. So on the uh, offense, we're running an HP stretch, what a lot of people like to do. And remember, any kind of run, it's numbers, 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 numbers. We know that the guy on the left, if he paid attention to the dive, was coming in clean. So we can probably assume that he's in the run fits. If he's immediately biting down to the run, we can probably safely assume that that's going to be a bad direction to run. On top of that, Let's just say Diggs was to be a user. Now I went ahead and put him on a spy, just get him into the run fit so I can just focus on the run game. But you've got a couple different people you have to worry about. Again, this is numbers. If we motion this guy over, we now have technically one, two, three, four, five, six, six blockers against five defenders. Maybe user, uh, let's go over this guy. One, two, three three four five simple numbers but it's not going to work as well as you think and oftentimes you're going to find that you're going to get blown up in the backfield as we run stretch to the wrong way we're going to go ahead and run stretch to the left one thing i forgot is you got to flip it before you motion the tight end over so let's go ahead flip the play get the run set up and then we're going to go ahead and set up the defense so make sure you flip the stretch and don't do the stupid mistake i do then you motion over the guy and let's get this run defense all set up so again, I'm going to hop on a defensive tackle or a linebacker. I don't really care. And just let the safety do his thing. Stretch, dive, it's all numbers. We've got numbers to the left. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and run it to the left. And right there you can see if there was a user to be on that safety, then it's going to be stopped in the backfield. Problem is because we're not using that defender, they're not going to be able to set the edge as well. And therefore, we're going to get a good gain off of it. So this isn't going to represent how our user might play it, but to give you guys a couple of ideas, I don't know who this is, Snacks. If you're a subscriber of mine, let me know in the channel. You've invited me to party a bunch of times before. I don't know who you are, but <clears throat> it's going to be very difficult to run a stretch, especially to the right. Reason being, again, it's numbers. So let's just hop on defense and count the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they were to bring their user down and chase or user this guy and chase, whatever the case may be, just to hock him down. Again, we've only got, let's, let's count the blocks. One, two, three, four, technically five. So obviously somebody's going to come in free, guys. That's how you run the ball. That's how you be effective in running the ball. So this is just one formation that you can utilize in attacking this 2-4-5 odd. Again, if you're getting block sheds, 
And y you can tell, you can just tell, you can tell when the game wants to screw you over and is working against you. Just keep at it. I promise you guys that if you just continue to pound that rock, eventually you will find they're going to be able to start breaking runs. Look for these open lanes. As you saw earlier in the dive, we have three different choices. The user can only choose one. We've got the B gap on right, B gap on left, or we got the edge way out on the left with a lead block by our wide receiver. Force the user defender to decide what gap he's going to shoot and kind of make him guess. Now let's go ahead and get into a little bit of a live lab session. Let's go into this wing pair. I don't think this is going to be all too good. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and try it. Let's see if they got a dive. I don't think they have a dive. If they don't, we're not going to try that then. But dive is going to be your best friend against us. Let's go HB dive, sing back, wing tight U. Again, we're going to go ahead and get the run defense all set up. I'm using the Seattle Seahawks, two secure tacklers. I think the best run defensive team in the game. So right here on dive, we're going to go ahead and just run this dive stock. This is the first time I have ever used this. There's a single back wing Z tight. I want to say it's in the Seattle Seahawks offense playbook. If you guys know, let me in the comment section. I don't know. It's single back wing Z tight. I know that's what it's called. I don't know what the playbook it is. But we're going to go ahead and run this single back tight U. This is a simple old HP dive. I don't even know what the audibles are for this, to be honest. I've never ran this formation. But let's go ahead and snap the ball and see how well it works. Right there, a safety is shedding off an offensive line. A freaking left guard. He's shedding the left guard like he's a little toddler. <laughs> so if that <laughs> glad that happened but if that continues to happen just keep pounding the rock be consistent be consistent be consistent because i can promise you guys are going to break a run eventually so we're gonna go ahead we got the run defense kind of ready to go and let's just run this hp dive one more time if we notice that we are not getting good blocks maybe start motioning the tight end if you notice that this tight end is not getting occupied by this guy i kind of bet he would then you go ahead and start motioning him in let's go ahead and motion him in. let's try it motion this guy and see if we can motion block him again i've never used this formation before so your results may vary and again we're just getting shedded but you can see right there if we do not get shedded look how much green grass We've got down field us. It's not that hard. Let's go into instant replay. Zoom out so you can see right there. As long as we do not get insta shedded, as long as we do not get insta. Oh my gosh, this guy it's number seventy four. What the fluff are you doing, dude? This left tackle. Look, 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 look. This is why this game is so good. He didn't even block him. He just ran past him. So if you guys don't get screwed over by EA, you're going to find that you're going to be able to get some good yardage. So as we go back, there's actually two gaps that we have to choose from. I guess I chose the wrong one, even though there should have been a block on that side. But you notice we've got an A gap on the right, and I don't know what gap that is right there. A gap on the left. We could have ran either way, but I decided to run into the obvious eye socket running the ball. But I decided to run into defender, but you can see, again, tons of grass downfield. I mean, we got open lanes for days, and in fact... If we actually get through the gap, this guy would have released from his block and started chasing the safety downfield, and that would have potentially been a touchdown. So this 245, like all defenses, whether you run an edge blitz or you run a cover four drop or my defense, if you guys run it, there are weaknesses and strengths to every single one of them. I'm not going to say there's a better run defense out there for everything because, to be quite frank, that would be a lie. Ed's Blitz is good, good against some defenses. It sucks against others. Cover 4 is good against some. Cover 2 is good against some. and sucks against others. And so that's why on Master Man, we have three different options of run defense for you guys. So if one thing's not working, you've got two more to work with. And we're going to be bringing some more later on as well. So I just wanted to take that care of that video. My personal thoughts, 245, it's good against some run defense. It's good against some runs. It's not good against others. Again, if you guys want the run defense, I'm not posting on this channel. Please don't support those YouTubers that are posting it for free. Go support Bam Scheming. He's the one that created this, and he's been hiding it the entire year for the Madden Bowl. So go support him. His Twitter's in the description. It's 20 bucks for his run defensive ebook. I don't run it personally. It's good from what I understand from what he said. It's pretty darn good. It sounds like good run defense to me. I just find it too inconsistent. Maestroman.com, we've got a few other run defenses available for you guys. Um, but that's going to take care of this video. You guys promise you're going to see this defense quite a bit online. In fact, my very first game today, 
<laughs> so anyways guys let's go take care of the video if you're new to the channel be sure you hit that subscribe button and until next time get in the lab there's more runs out there i'm sure but try them all out hop into that oakland raiders offense see ya